Hello everyone, this is Daryl20 and welcome to episode 5 of Daryl20's Let's Play series. Where I'm just swapping out some of this here stone uh, for some dirt. Making, uh, making, making this land a little bit nicer looking. Just a smidge. You know, trying to, trying to tidy it up a smidgen. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, what do we got here? Let's, let's try squish mode. That might be fun. I like it. I like it. We could snap some stone out of existence. Replacing it with some dirt. Ah, <laughs> cool. I like all the different animations that I set up for this thing. What can I say? I'm a nerd. I think you guys knew that by now. I think that was pretty well pretty well figured out. How am I doing? Uh, not bad. Not not great. Not terrible. Uh, we could be better. But overall, doing okay. Doing okay. A little bit low on dirt now, but I mean, in fairness, I did do a lot of, of dirt things here, right? So... No big deal. Uh, today's episode, oh, I did want to build out the rest of my uh, my 9x9 nine nine structure here. I, You know what, now's, yeah, let's just do it now. That should be cool, right? Yeah, I think so. So generally speaking, what I'll do is just bring you out to here-ish. And then you can come out here. Is that right? No, nope, we need one more. And then off there. Nice. Cool. Let's snag this dude. That's not a bad start, right? Yeah. I'll take that. Now, hopefully... I'm thinking, I'm actually thinking I won't have enough. So let's make sure that we get enough. Let's get you in here. And it was this one that I was doing, but with connected textures on, right? Cool. And that should be connecting. Beautiful. Well, let's just do this. That shouldn't be too bad of an initial starting base, right? Now, today's episode, what I would really like to focus on is getting enough um, power gen going, probably. I would like to, to amp up some Ender IO power gen, probably. I'm not sure if we're going to do Ender IO for power gen all the way. I have to see what generators are available, effectively. Um, but you know, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll figure it out. Now, the other thing I'd like to do is probably, is this where I want my structure to be? And no, I probably wanted that closer to here. Not a big deal though. So yeah, I'm thinking we'll get uh, a basement up and running today. Is that sound like a plan maybe and get some power gen in there get some machines basically like you know the standard setup of stuff so let's do a three by three with fuzzy on and that should be cool and then we'll get the, the rest of this ground filled in uh and then over here let's get ready to have an entryway into this thing and again do that Not bad at all, right? Looking pretty good. Now let's get uh, some skylights in here too. I think generally speaking, what I do is three, and then one, three, and then one, three, and then one, and then three. Nice. Do I have my glass on me? I have some, yes. That works, right? Not bad at all. Now let's make sure that we're gonna have enough lighting in here. If I went along this line, that should be cool. If I went along this line, that should be cool. And we might need just a nice little center point. Does that look pretty good? 
Yeah, not too bad. We'll see if that's enough. If I need more light, we'll figure it out. So, hey, not a bad start, right? Let's do that. Let's do that. And then that. Hey, we have a little bit of a base going on here, don't we? Okay, let's bring our machines over there. Oh, I never set up a tool on the template manager. That's a thing I'm going to have to fix. Template manager has no tool. Duly noted. All right, now hopefully this is all an easy transition to get everything put away where we want it. You can see I was using up the hole filler to like, you know, get some... Uh, get some terrain patched up. I love these hole fillers, by the way. They are super cool. And they actually can fill a pretty decent sized area. Uh, like really decent. I'm, I, am, I am a fan of the hole filler mod. No joke. All right, I'm gonna put you guys away. Now, let's see, do I have uh, a door? Or did I void my extra doors? I might have voided them, no worries. We'll do that, we'll do that. Cool. And if I void a couple extra doors, I ain't worried. Sweet, perfect. And it's nighttime. So how about a basement? Does that sound like a plan? Uh, for that, we're gonna want a destruction gadget to make that happen easier. Now, talk to me, Mr. Wandering Trader. Anything good? Nope, nothing good. All right, then sorry, but no thank you. I hope that no soliciting sign exists in this pack. I'm going to want to use that pretty soon. So let's get started over here. So we've got our capacitor bank. Let's look into... Let's look into doing some power gen stuff. Uh, so we definitely want the sag mill and the alloy smelter set up here. We'll, we'll, we'll get them placed. Uh, the Sterling Generator, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. And the Diamond Furnace, I'm not sure how I'm going to handle that. I'm going to put that away for now, the Diamond Furnace guy. Uh, the Template Manager and the Charging Station can kind of chill, maybe in the walls over here. Sometimes I like to throw like one-off machines like these guys in the walls, and that's a, that's a neat place to put them. Uh, and then the Wired Charger, we're definitely going to want to throw down. That should be good. Uh, and we can decide about having like power from here. Where are you even going? Oh, you're filling this dude up. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Not a worry. Let's get uh, some conduit. Let's check out the energy conduits because these guys are back. Conduit binder uh, is going to be a smelted version of kind binder composite. We're gonna need clay, sand, and gravel. I think I used all my clay making uh, the hole filler. So yeah, let's let's go get more let's go get more clay. There should be some out and about, and it should be easier to get now because of my long range miner. Cool. That and sand should also be relatively easy. Yeah, I can turn off precision mode now. I can just you know mine like crazy. That looks pretty good, right? Sweet. Uh, let's put let's put these dudes in here so that you're ready to uh, absorb them as needed. And now I've got the clay and the sand. I only have one gravel. You know what? It does make sense because because gravel when you have fortune, you wind up getting a lot of um, uh, flint rather than actually getting gravel. So I'm gonna have to like get some proper gravel somewhere, right? Uh, well, the other thing you can do is just turn off fortune. And then when you mine your gravel, you'll hopefully get like actually gravel. Ooh, but I want fortune on when I'm mining that coal that's right there. Cool. So that's a little pro tip if you're doing a lot of mining uh, with this dude. Because, believe it or not, fortune applies to the gravel drops. It's just rare that you notice it, because it would only work if you're using a shovel. And few people put um, fortune on their shovels. 
right? So can I just? I think it goes up and down only. So yeah, I will. I will. I will build and gadget my way into. Uh, into here. And then you can also get filled in. Sweet. That might be enough for enough conduit binder to get started. So for you, where did you go? Let's get some gravel out of here. Gravel is unfortunately what we need the most of, but eh. We get a decent amount of it at least. And then into the alloy smelter. Now what's cool is the alloy smelter does smelt three items at a time, so that's good at least. Okay. Uh, now the other thing we're going to need here is conductive alloy, which is copper alloy plus iron plus redstone. Okay. And as a reminder, copper alloy is that silicon and copper. So let's get some of that and try it out. So there's some copper for us. Actually, I'll just get this copper. Did I use all that? I did. I did. Did I use up all my silicon? I'm not sure if I did. I guess I did, didn't I? So let's sag mill our way into some more sand. That shouldn't be terrible. Not bad at all, actually. And then you're going to go in here along with you. And that'll get me my copper alloy. And don't forget you can tick accelerate these if you so desire. Now this was... Iron and redstone. Iron and redstone. So now you do these guys. Sweet. Perfect. And then you've got a little extra of that. And now we should be able to... Also, a lot of the times I like to have an extra one of these dudes nearby, just so I can like craft with. So sticking him like there or something near that, that would be good, right? So you can make better outputs in our sag mill if we want, but the primary purpose of this is I want to do energy conduits. Now, is there a wrench from Mender.io? There's the other wrench, nice, okay, cool. That's gonna need a couple more copper alloy ingots. So that'll be you and you, okay? Uh, and then the stone compound gear is easy enough to make, right? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did that recipe break? That's not good. Front row. Uh, gear from... Let's see. Stone gear, stone compound gear. Interesting. Okay, I think we broke that recipe when we updated the pack. All right, so I think I don't really have many options except to cheat this in. So remembering that the stone gear was just sticks and stone, I'm not going to worry too much about it. So let's do, uh, let's see. I want to allow cheats. Cool. And then uh, I should be able to just cheat in this Yetta wrench. And what I will do is I will void the copper alloys um you know and some sticks why not not that it matters that much and look here's here's some cobblestone voided it cool uh i think that's fair nice so now with my yetta wrench i should have no problem and i should probably get i'm gonna stick with an iron pick i don't think we need to be i don't think we need to be wasting diamonds right now right at least until we get a fancier pick in the future. We'll get something good in a bit, but for now. Now, who's that? Oh, it's a plague doctor. What's up, dude? Uh, ooh, zombie flesh for it? No, that's not terrible. Do I have enough zombie flesh that I could trade that in? I 
I do actually. I can snag an emerald out of that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Thank you, zombie plague doctor dude. Alright, now beat it. Alright, nothing like a quick crash to get you up and running again. So let's now let's make our energy conduits do their thing. So I should be able to do that. And now, are you draining? You are. Sweet. And then you're filling up. Nice. Beautiful. Liking it. Okay. Cool. Now, I may not need the other wrench for this. Okay, so that is in and out mode. And then those guys are just in. I'm noticing there's like a little thing there that shows you that. So can you... Okay, cool. And then that does that. Okay, nice. Ah, and then you can do this. That stuff's all there. Insert, extract, redstone mode, redstone channel. That's cool. I like it. It's looking really good to me. I'm liking, I'm liking Ender IO being back. No joke. No joke. All right. Uh, so now let's look at power gen. How are we going to generate power uh, for things? Uh, I wouldn't mind an elevator and a basement to go into. Uh, now, for elevators, we're going to need some ender pearls and some wool, neither of which I have a particularly large amount of, but we will figure it out. Um, let's let's put away some stuff that I don't need in my inventory right this moment, like all this stuff. Uh, I think I'm good with you for now. Now, I will want my destruction gadget to clear out the basement, uh, and then let's figure out real quick what I'm going to do by way of power gen. So Ender IO generators, what do we have for power generation? I don't think we have a lot of options. I think realistically, uh, we have the Sterling generator and that might be it, unless I'm missing it. And then we also have the solars, but I usually shy away from solar power. I should consider keeping it on, but it's usually eh. Like it's, it's nice passive small amounts of power, but it's not a lot, um, you know. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to go the whole solar route. That's cool, though. I do like it. I do like it. Uh, let's see what do we have by way of power gen that we could think of. Give me a few minutes here to think this one out, and I'll be right back. Once I decide where I want to go with power gen. So we have the advanced generators mod. That might not be bad for early game power. May require a little bit of crafting to get us to where we want to be, but that might be an option. So I did a little bit of mining uh, off camera here for a moment. And the reason for that is I decided, uh, I think I'm gonna try something that I actually don't usually do because I mean, I just generally don't usually do this, but I'm gonna try doing uh, some solar. Does that sound cool? I mean, it's a little different, right? Uh, so I'm gonna sag mill up my iron that I've got here. Uh, this recipe is now fixed where you get a 33% boost uh, and then grinding balls will actually increase that, you know, even further, depending on which grinding ball you go with. So at some point we'll get into that, but for now I'm using just the simple flint one because yeah, uh, it's easy and I have some of it already. Cool. Uh, now can I, Alloy Smelter, can I push you to the left? So if we did this, push, right? Yeah, that's what's up. Smelt up that iron. And then maybe I could even have you Sit here and push up. Yeah, now we're cooking. Aha, sweet. So that way you can just do the, the thing. And now even better, how about I do this? You ready? You ready for this? And what if on the top you were to pull and then I could throw more iron in here and then he should be pulling that iron in processing it pushing it to the left and then pushing it up there and then boom semi-automated ore processing not perfect but it gets the job done right i think that works hello very lovely thank you thank you for being where you are that's a great place for you to spawn i hear you going uh, at me where even are you I'm gonna sleep through this night because because clearly Mr. Invisible here being sneaky. 
Oh, and my mining gadget is completely out of power. There you are, wandering trader. Any good trades? No? Rude. Intruders are not welcome. Okay. <clears throat> so now with a bunch more iron ready, let me do a bunch of crafting. Uh, so this will be literally just a whole bunch of crafting. Not super fun to watch, so I'll probably do most of it off camera. Um, but the gist of what we need here is going to be um, solar panels. I might go up to tier 5. I might just stop at tier 4. Let's see how far we get. <clears throat> but I'm going to need some iron. I'm going to need some gold. I'm going to need some redstone, lapis, and clay. Uh, and that's most of what I think I'm going to need. So lapis. I think we had some clay. We might even have more clay in here. I'll just keep one in there just to be safe. Uh, redstone I said we need some of and a healthy amount of iron. And you guys might still be cooking here, but we're getting low on this. So let me throw down my sterling generator on top of this dude. And then he should be giving power to this dude, which is then, you know, helping keep these guys up and running. Hopefully, maybe, we'll find out. All right, let me do some crafting, uh, and I'll let you know how I make out when I get back. Cool? So basically, we're going to need you, and then you, and then you, and then you, and then, yeah, that should be cool. Okay, that doesn't look terrible. We're going to need a lot of those, though, like a real lot. I might need more sand. For sure. Be right back. All right, so the pattern, by the way, is you get three mirrors per craft. Uh, which is exactly how many you need uh, to make a tier one solar panel, right? Um, so what you want to do is make eight at a time. And those eight can turn into solar panel mark twos, right? And then those twos can turn into this guy pretty easily. Uh, I will need some stone stone for this. How are you guys doing? Not bad. Could be a little bit faster, please. Okay, and why don't you give me another stack of that? Cool. So now you're draining pretty fast, but that's okay. You're you're making more eventually. We'll get there. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so for a Mark III solar panel, we're going to need photovoltaic cells. So I'm going to need three of those. Right. Cool. And then we just need the redstone repeaters. Which shouldn't be terrible. We've got more of that stuff. And the iron dude. Okay. And that's a Mark III solar panel. And we get two of those per craft, which is kind of cool. And then Mark IV solars is just a little bit more. I think I'm going to jump to Mark IV. I think we want to do that. So let me do all that again, right? Um, so to do this, we're going to need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Because you need four of these. Okay. Uh, and then you guys can turn into uh, Mark One Solars, which needs more of this. Close, needs even more wood. Are we out of wood? We might be out of wood. It's all right, I know a place to get some. Beautiful. And we're going to have to definitely find a good, uh, faster running dude. Right, but for the meantime, put this and this away. And that should hold us over. Cool. Good deal. And then you guys upgrade to this, but let's get a few more of these. Actually, I'll just get them all. Why not? So then you upgrade. Right, and then you need three of those to make this. And then these guys are made with one more of these and an iron block, right? Cool. Now, just for a quick math, right, uh, these solar panel mark threes make 32 RF a tick, right? So times four would be 128. Now, if we'd make four of these, we'll get two of these. 
that make 256 total. So that's kind of is a decent upgrade there. So what I'm going to want, we're going to want three sets of these. Okay. So one, two, three. Did I do that wrong? I might have done that wrong. Because uh, I want three of you. Yes, I did do that wrong, but that's okay. You'll be fine. Uh, and then I just need this and a block of iron, and we're cool. Right? So this becomes this and that. And now we should have two Mark IV solars, which I think ain't terrible. I think we could we could totally look at that. So let's put away all this iron. Let's put away all this and this. And you can go in here, and that looks pretty good. And I'll throw this extra stack of this in there, and even a little bit more iron that's sitting there. And now we've got two solar panels that make 120 RF per tick each. So if I were to come out here, let's say, and I think what I'm going to want to do is move these guys such that they're outputting underneath. Okay, so that'll get power into you all like that. Okay, that looks good to me. Uh, and then let's make sure we have a little bit of this in here. And then out back here, we can run this solar panel thing up to the top. And what I'll do is use conduits. And we could do something like this, right? So now you should be making power a decentish amount. Sweet. Okay. And that is from the Solar Flux Reborn mod. Uh, now there's other add-ons and stuff we can get here. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Uh, upgrades. Increases the amount of FE generated by 5%. Uh, increases the transfer rate by 15, internal capacity, disperses energy to nearby players in a 16 block range. Oh, that's kind of cool. Wirelessly transmits energy to a specified block in 16 range. Um, that's cool. And then a bunch of crafting materials, it looks like. There's like, a, there's even a Twilight Forest integration thing. That's kind of cool. That's neat. Okay. But yeah, you should be making uh, some decent power now. You know, not terrible, at least. I'll take it. A little passive power gen never hurt nobody. And maybe I'll make a few more solar panels uh, off camera. But I wanted to get some form of passive power gen. I was going to go lava, but I don't see a whole lot of options for lava. Base power. Yeah, so we're just going to have to keep an eye on it. All right, so this passive power gen ain't terrible, but I think I'm going to do one more batch of it. But before I do that, I want to store all my experience. So I'm making a quick experience obelisk here, just so I can start building that up. Because uh, two things. One, Apotheosis is in the pack, so that's cool. Uh, and we're going to need a lot of experience if we're going to do that. Two, I always like having a good battery of experience so that if mobs, you know, kill me, we'll be all right. Uh, so I charged up some of my gadgets. We clearly uh, need some more storage. So what I'm going to do is probably wrap up the episode here. I'm going to come back next episode. I will have made probably the tier five because I made I made two tier fours, right? That's what I just made. Uh, and they're doing great. Don't get me wrong. But if I make two more tier fours, then I can make a pair of tier fives. So why don't I do that? Uh, and that would be neat. So I'm going to go do that off camera because uh, you don't need to see me craft all that again. When we come back next episode, I'll probably start working on a basement. Um, I would like to do advanced generators at some point, but we'll hold off on that because I want to just have some basic passive power gen for now, just so I can get into things. Um, yeah, and then when we come back, maybe we'll look into some cool stuff. Uh, for now, Dell 20 sign off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.